Hello YouTube, this is Nightfall, and today I will both be telling you the gender of Fantan Fauci from FNAF, this location, along with me providing evidence why Fantan Fauci is that gender. Right before I start this video, believe it or not, Mangol is the main counterpart, Fantan Fauci, because... The definition of cislocation is a company which is owned by the same parent company as another company. One parent company can have one or more many subsidiaries which all are sister companies to each other. So basically, sister location means t two companies that may be rivals and can be owned by the same parent company. For example, Freddy Fazer's Pizza, Circus Baby's World. They're both pizzerias. So, their parent company. Maybe some type of pizza factory or something like that. I'm not quite sure if there's a pizza factory. It's just a theory slash example. Possibly a hypothesis. Remember that I told you that Mangle will be the main counterpart of Funtime Bocci? Well, whatever Mangle's gender will be, you probably assume... Fantan Fatsi's gender will be the same. But, if you say Fantan Fatsi, it starts to get a little confusing. Because, believe it or not, Mangle, well, before Mangle got mangled up. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist, I always wanted to say that. Well, anyway, Mangle's name was actually Fantan Fatsi. Because Mangle was a Fatsi model which was used for child's play. So you could say the kids had a fine time. So the name suited perfectly. Well, until Mangle got mangled up. So anyway, whatever Mangle's gender is, Fantan Fati's will be the same. So if Mangle's a boy, Fantan Fati will be a boy. If Mangle's a girl, Fantan Fati will be a girl. And I should probably say Fantan Fatsi version 2. Because I believe this location takes place after Freddy Fazer's Pizza, new and improved. Because in, um, was it night one when you're crawling for the vent? And, uh, default, um, hand unit voice said Freddy Fazer's just closed? Everybody knows that Mangle is active on ladies' night. So some people get ahead of himself a little too quickly and say Mangle's a female. Well, ladies' night doesn't necessarily mean all females. Ladies' night actually means more girls than boys. And there are three characters listed. Wivered Chica, Toy Chica, and Mangle. Since there are three characters listed, and two of which are female, some people get ahead of themselves and say, Mangle's a male. Well, I'm not going to tell you Mangle's gender yet, because there's one more item trunk to name. That's in Ladies' Night, but is not listed. Wivered Fatsi is the animatronic slash character which is in Ladies' Night that is not listed. And Wivered Fatsi is a male. Right before I resume, 
Um, it will be a little helpful if I say something. This picture is not quite accurate because it had a few nicks and cuts in it to make it look better. Since now that we know Withered Foxy, well, like, whoever played Ladies Night knows Withered Foxy is active in Ladies Night. But for you foes who like to watch theory videos, or who follow FNAF but don't have the game, now you know Withered Foxy is active in Ladies Night. Unless your friend told you. So, if Mango is a boy, there will be two boys, two girls. Now remember, ladies night means more girls than boys. And two and two are both even. That's not getting us anywhere. So Mango has to be a girl to make three girls and one boy. Now that's more reasonable. Remember I said that this picture had some nicks and cuts to make it look better well it'll be helpful in what's coming up in about a minute or so i mean announcing that as it's not quite accurate and part of it involves pelvises and waists since phantom Fachi is the main counterpart of mango and mango is female phantom Fachi is female but I'm not done yet. I will be comparing Funtime Fachi with two animatronics. One of them is a female toy animatron animatronic who is known for her feminine look. And the other is a male Funtime animatronic. When you compare Funtime Fachi and Toy Chica, you notice they have a few things in common. Toy Chica's pelvis slash waist area is a bit wider than, for example, Toy Bonnie and Toy Freddy. Well, Phantom Fachi's pelvis is wide. I'm not going to tell you if it's wider than Phantom Freddy's yet, but I will get there. Toy Chica's waist starts to go in, then it starts to go up at a slight angle. Funtime Fachi is hard to tell because, well, Funtime Fachi is a springlock type animatron, meaning humans could wear them as suits, and most humans are, were workers, and most of them were male. So, Funtime Fachi could still be female and resemble a female, but it has to fit the substantial needs of a male to fit inside of her. So basically, the waist thing will not quite be as accurate as Toy Chica's, but still pretty accurate. So it goes in and goes out a bit at an angle. And for the views that don't know, even though feminine looks don't apply because, well, older suit models, well, I mean, very old. Believe it or not, Spring Bonnie slash Springtrap is female. It's hard to determine, but in order to find that out, you have to do a lot of research. Now, it's comparing Funtime Fachi with Funtime Freddy. Funtime Fachi's pelvis is fairly wide, but is it wider than Funtime Freddy's? As a suit? No. Because Funtime Freddy, his torso is wider. But in relation of man compared to woman, yes. Believe it or not, it is. It's hard to tell 
but believe it or not, women actually have wider pelvis slash waist areas than men. That doesn't mean involve Funtime Fati's waist right before or her waist starts and right after her pelvis ends, it's fairly thin there. While Funtime Freddy is always thick, because that's, well, men naturally have a thicker look than women. But as comparison, believe it or not, Funtime Fati's waist slash pelvis is wider because hard to determine but women their waist is naturally thicker slash wider and their torso where it starts is thinner so in the suit models the profile doesn't match because that's well, how they basically designed, but as comparison, it does match, because, well, Phantom Freddy's, his pelvis slash waist area is about the same size as his torso, while Phantom Fatty's, her pelvis slash waist area is wider than her torso. Phantom Fatty's um, torso at the bottom, it curves in, and near the top, it curves out. Funtime Freddy's torso always stays about the same size. Well, it actually does. So, this concludes that mangle from FNAF 2 and Funtime Fatty from FNAF Cislocation are both female. Since I mentioned a little about Springtrap and Spring Bonnie in this video and told you well both their genders, well actually their genders will be the same because they are the same animatronic. Believe it or not. Well anyway, if this video gets 10 likes, I will be posting a video briefly describing the backstory of both Spring Bonnie and Spring Bonnie's older version, Spring Trap. For my next video, the possible relationship between Foxy and Mangle, aka First, Funtime Foxy. Well, Funtime Foxy version 1 sounds better in my opinion. If you watched this video and you enjoyed it, please tell me in the comment section below, what name do you like better? First, Funtime Foxy or Funtime Foxy version 1? I hope you enjoyed my video.